We're looking at a comparison of the 2013 general elections. What are the dynamics now and how have they changed since the previous general election? Fatia, good to have you in News Centre. Good morning, Michelle. So let's begin with uh, the 2013 general election. I mean, what are the dynamics then? How many um, candidates do we have? What was the number of registered voters then? Um, so in 2013, we had a total registered voters of 14,352,533. Mm -hmm. We had a total of eight uh, presidential candidates. So Uhuru Kenyatta was vying for the second time. Mm -hmm. uh, he was vying under the Jubilee Alliance, and he won the election with uh, over 6 million votes, 50.51% of it. So he was uh, the first, second time that he's vying, and that the first time he vied was in 2002 right. on a Kano ticket. Mm -hmm. So in, uh, in the same year, Uhuru now won in 20 counties out of the 47. And out of the 25% vote, which is a requirement for every presidential candidate, he won in 33 counties. Mm -hmm. All right. So something very interesting also about Uhuru Kenyatta, he brands himself as a digital president, right. knowing that he's the youngest president to come in power in 2013. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. So... So that is, uh, that is 2013, about 14 million registered voters yes. then. How many candidates did we have? We had a total of eight candidates. Mm -hmm. We also had other entrants. We also had somebody like Raila Odinga vying for the third time. Right. This time around, he was vying with the Coalition for Restoration and Democracy Court. Mm -hmm. He garnered 5,340,546 votes in total, mm -hmm. which uh, led to 43.70%. Uh, percent. Now, the first time he vied for presidency was in 1997, 2002, and now in 2013. Right. But he lost it to Uhuru Kenyatta. Uh -huh. So he won in 26 counties plus the diaspora. But in the total, out of the 25%, he won in 30 counties. Uh -huh. All right. And of course, um, the parties that were at play at, at, at the time were also um, quite a bit different from the parties. Now, what, what were the, what the biggest parties in play during the 2013 elections? All right. Uh, Jubilee was one, but Jubilee now was an alliance. Uh -huh of uh, the National Alliance of Uhuru Kenyatta and the United Republican Party of uh, William Ruto. So they marched to form uh, the Jubilee Alliance. Right. Now, um, for Raila Odinga, he, his own party was Orange Democratic Movement. He joined with other parties, including Wiper Democratic Movement, to form COD. Mm -hmm. So uh, different parties were coming like that. And somebody like Raila Odinga has been known as a man of many alliances. Right. From when he started into politics, um, from Orange Democratic Movement to COD to where he is right now in NASA, he's been in different, different alliances. Mm -hmm. So other, other presidential candidates at that particular time was Musale Mudavadi, who was vying under the United Democratic Forum, UDF. And something interesting about uh, Mudavadi, he was a vice president for only two months, mm -hmm. from November 2002 to January 2003 during Moy's era. And then something also interesting is that he was a running mate for Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga, who are the main challenges rivals. now. That's, that's rather exactly. interesting. Right? Very interesting. I mean, and it's good to see how this happens in politics, because like you mentioned, he yeah. was running under the UDF party then. Yeah. Um, he is now running under NASA. And even mm -hmm. before the formation of NASA, there was Ford Kenya. Yeah. So we keep seeing these um, different uh, political outfits really changing as the candidates yeah. go along. Yeah. So just the different parties coming up. Somebody like Peter Kenneth also vied. He vied under the Eagle Alliance. He garnered around 72,786 votes. Mm -hmm. He was a former member par of parliament for Gatanga constituency, and mm -hmm. he's now vying for the gubernatorial, um, gubernatorial, Nairobi gubernatorial seat mm -hmm. as an independent candidate. Other new entrants was somebody like Mohamed Abdu Badida. Mm -hmm. Now, Mohamed Abdu Badida uh, came with the Alliance for Real Change. Now, this, this particular candidate was really not known in the country. So after the first presidential debate, right. uh, he came with the different uh, policies about different issues, and people found him fascinating, rather, mm -hmm. very interesting. So because of that, he garnered 52,848 votes, which, was, which meant he won Martha Karua, who's been in politics. Right. He won somebody like Paul Mwite. At the same People time. who've been in politics for quite a while. So um, yes. let's, uh, let's uh, focus a bit more on uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta there. Uh, in 2013, yes. uh, Jubilee Party, under mm -hmm. the Jubilee Alliance, gained about uh, 6 million votes, and that was 50.51%. Uh, mm -hmm. um, by then, we had 14 million registered voters. How mm -hmm. have the dynamics changed in this year's election? And this year's election, we have a total uh, number of voters 
nine, ten million so mm -hmm. far. Mm -hmm. And it's it's a game of numbers right now where we stand for both uh, Raila and Uhuru and other political party, uh, other political presidential candidates rather. Mm -hmm. So the nine, ten million, somebody like uh, Raila Odinga um, are saying there are ten million strong voters. Right. So we are yet to see how those numbers will play out mm -hmm. at the end of the day. All right, and of course, uh, moving on, uh, parties that are at play this time as opposed to parties that are at play in the 2013 general elections. Yeah. I mean, the Jubilee um, Alliance is now the Jubilee Party. CORD yes. is now NASA. What mm -hmm. more do we have? We have Tunza Coalition from Abdu Badida. Mm -hmm. He had Alliance for Real Change, but now he's changed to Tunza Coalition. We also have a new entrant, Ekuru Okot, mm -hmm. who is... Uh, the third way alliance first time entrant into presidential politics right uh, yeah and then we have other independent candidates this time around in 2017 we had a lot of independent candidates um totaling up to 18 plus the candidates which had the parties but after they were cleared by the ibc there have been eight candidates so far and uh, the independent candidates a total of three independent candidates. Mm -hmm. yes. All right, and there we go. So we have Raila Odinga as well, who in 2013 was running under the court ticket, garnered 5.3 million votes, which put him at about 43.7%. Yeah. How have his dynamics changed in this year's election? This is election. Um, uh, the very interesting thing is the National Super Alliance has different parties joined mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. with uh, different principles from different parts of the country. So their hope is they will play along with the different regions to get more numbers. Mm -hmm. So th that's what he's playing with. Really, uh, yes. And time. of course, um, looking at this, what they got last time. So Raila had 43.7%, uh, who yeah. wrote about 50.51% uh, um, there, thereabout. Yeah. Um, with the dynamics this time, 19 million registered voters. There's been a lot of polls um, already, some suggesting a possible runoff, some suggesting um, that the gap between the two seems to be closing yes. down. Yeah. Um, what would you term um, as battlegrounds in this year's election um, that we did not see in the 2013 elections? Um, I think uh, especially the major strongholds. Mm -hmm. So, for example, for Raila Odinga, he's playing around the Nyanza area. And for Uhuru Kenyatta, it's mostly the central region. Right. And Mombasa right now is a, a very hot, a hotly contested place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, We do know that the president is yet to go back to Mombasa. He's to return to woo voters in that particular area to, to come back to you know, his party at the end of the day. So we are yet to see how these numbers will play out. All now, right. in this election, something very interesting, we have somebody like Cyrus Girongo. Mm -hmm. He's vying under the United Democratic Party. He was a former member of parliament for Lugari constituency, and in 2013, he wanted to vie for the presidency. But now he opted out and decided to join the senatorial um, the notorious seat mm -hmm. for Kakamega mm -hmm. County, so he lost it to Boni Khalwale. Right. And okay, and of course, uh, we have Mosali Mudavadi there during the 2013 elections, um, getting 4, 483,000 votes. And like you mentioned, very interesting about him, mm -hmm. um, the fact that he's been a running mate, so to speak, uh, to both uh, Uhuru Raila and, Raila. Uh, uh, and Uhuru. Mm -hmm. And of course, he's not running for president in this year's election, so that's uh, a dynamic that seemingly has changed there. Mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of, like you mentioned, Na NASA trying to bring all those um, regional votes to get their 10 million strong, mm -hmm. um, how, how, has, how has the opposition changed its gameplay this time? Um, like I said, taking like leaders from different parts, principles are from different parts. Somebody like Isaac Ruto playing in the, no the North Rift, the Rift side. Mm -hmm. We have the Kalonzo Musyoka from the Ukambani side. So this time around the politics is in different region. Mm -hmm. So for something like Mombasa, we have somebody like Hassan Ali Joho, who really... Um, states or when it comes to Mombasa he has the word you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's how the dynamics are changing when it comes to the opposition numbers mm -hmm. yeah all right and of course uh, that was a 2013 general elections we had a few more candidates in the 2013 general elections yeah um, are all of them running for presidency in this year's election no 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 um, we have somebody like Martha Karua. She's currently vying. She vied for presidency in 2013, mm -hmm. but currently she's vying for the presidential, uh, sorry, for the gubernatorial seat in Kirinyaga County. Mm -hmm. She's going head to head with uh, devol former devolution CS Anwar Guru. Right. So who are some of the others who seemingly fell out of the way um, in the 2013 elections? Paul Mwite. Right, he ran too. Yes, uh -huh. he ran too. Um, he's a renowned lawyer. He was a political activist for the longest time ever. So 
that particular time he didn't really get a lot of votes and this time around he's not anywhere near the political scene just playing around uh, as a lawyer uh -huh. yes that's where he is at the moment all right and of course we had peter kenneth who also ran in the 2013 yeah. uh, general election he is not running as president this time yes his dynamics well, this time round, um, he's vying as a Nairobi gubernatorial candidate. Mm -hmm. So, in April, he was uh, he was vying for he was looking for the nominations for the Nairobi seat. But then, Mike Mbufi Sonko won the seat for Jubilee. So he's decided to go independent. Right now, his 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 thing is he wants to be Nairobi's governor. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that's where he is right now as Peter Kenneth. Right. So those yeah. are the candidates for 2013, and he got uh, 72,000 votes under the Eagle Alliance, which is something else. You keep seeing um, mm. the political outfits changing. So now yeah. he's running as an independent candidate yes. um, and, and, and not really on, on the basis of any party. Uh, who else did we have run as for president in 2013? In 2013, we had a couple. Um, apart from, we had James Ole Kiapi. Mm -hmm. James Ole Kiapi was just um, a civil servant who was an education uh, permanent secretary at that particular time. He ran under the Restore and Build Kenya Party. Mm -hmm. But then he garnered 40,998 votes, which totaled up to 0.34%. Mm -hmm. And this was his first time running. But this time around in 2017, he's really not vying. Mm -hmm. He's just playing it low, I should playing say. It low. I mean, yeah. Even as, um, as we do the comparison, because you mentioned Abdul Bedida earlier on, and he yeah. garnered about 52,000 votes, mm -hmm. which was more than some of his political, um, what would I call them, political veterans who are also running for president yes. at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and in this particular election, of course, we've termed it as a two-horse race for the most part. So many mm -hmm. are asking, where are these other six candidates campaigning? Um, so the means in which they're campaigning has also been different. Um, how would you compare that for the lesser-known candidates? Should I call them that? Um, okay, so for Abdul Badir, as I said, in 2013, what gave him the, the, the go-ahead, you know, was in the presidential debate. Right. This time around, he had a little bit of issues with the format of the presidential debate this, this year. Mm -hmm. And we do know that he has a different running mate compared to the one he had in 2013. Mm -hmm. This time around, his running mate is called Titus Ngetuni. The other time, it was Joshua Onono, something like that. So... He's playing around that area different. You know, he says that people need to restore sanity in, right. in, this, in this country. So that's how it's playing out for Abdul Badida mm -hmm. specifically. Is yes. he running on the same ticket he uh, used in 2013? No, in 2013 he had Alliance for Real Change, mm -hmm. but this time around it's called Tunza Coalition. Right, so a lot of questions as to how different um, that is. But of course, yeah. um, a very close uh, comparison to Abdul Badida would have to be uh, Mudiora Carriera, who came out of the yes. um, running mates presidential debate so that yes. was quite um, an interesting and Muthiara, I mean he's his presidential candidate is called Jafet Kavinga not mm -hmm. a lot of people know this uh, Jafet Kavinga mm -hmm. but he's he's running this time round uh, for 2017 for presidential uh, candidate and he's a man from diaspora right. that's what he calls himself. right, right. Yes. so are those all the trend in 2013 yes all right, so let's move on to 2017. 2017. So there are those who fell by the wayside, and there are those who are running for uh, different positions. We have eight presidential candidates. Yes. Um, let's begin with the, the lesser known ones, um, the likes of uh, Jafeth uh, Kavinga, uh, whose running mate is uh, Muthiora, Eliud yes. Muthiora. Uh, what, is he, what, what is he running on, as an independent? He's running as an independent candidate, mm -hmm. and all he says is that he's a professor, um, he's been a dean for universities in the United States, um, he's been a TV radio host, uh, Cast International, which is in the States also. Mm -hmm. So he's a man from there. So he's just saying he wants to come and build the young people. That's why he has somebody like Carriera mm -hmm. as his running mate, a young person. Mm -hmm. So that's what he's trying to bring across as an independent candidate. All right, him. all right. So let's, uh, let's uh, hold it back there and go back to 2013. Of course, in 2013, we had uh, Martha Karua, yes. um, who was running for president. And uh, a lot was said about her, especially after Abdul Bedida gained more votes than her. Yeah. Um, what are her dynamics, uh, 2013, compared to 2017? Now, 2013 was a different case because she was vying for presidential. Mm -hmm. This time around, she's vying for gubernatorial right. under her, her national her party, mm -hmm. which is NAC Kenya. So this time around for her, it's more of she just wants to see how she can clinch the gubernatorial seat, knowing that she's going head to head with the former devolution CS who in uh, the nominations had a lot of votes. So it's a head-to-head -head for both of them. So we're yet to see how that will turn out also for right. Sarah. How many like votes her. did she garner in 2013? 
She garnered um, around 43,881, mm -hmm. which is 0.36% right. of the total votes. Right, anyway, yes, yeah. so 0.36% there. That yeah. is uh, Martha Karua, one more of the uh, 2013 mm -hmm. presidential mm -hmm. candidates. All right, so who, did, who else did we have in 2013? Uh, I think we pretty much said everybody. All right, so let's move on to, let's 2017, move to 2017 now. Yes. So we've spoken about um, the uh, bigger names, the 2017 election. So let's begin with the president, Uhuru Kenyatta, who, like I said, is now running under the Jubilee Party ticket. And uh, with Jubilee Party, we saw that, um, you know, the merging of uh, the different parties come together. And they say that this is, you know, signaling inclusivity for the entire country. There will be no marginalization. Yeah. Um, so that is the clarion call this time. How different is it for what the clarion call was in 2013? I think this time around they're just bringing to the uh, to the table what they've done for the past four years in terms of their development mm -hmm. and what they're planning to do in the next five years if they are re-elected back again. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do know the Madaraka Express that they do launch, they launched the other day that was supposed to give them, you know, more votes. So that's how they're playing it when it comes to this year's elections. All right, and then there's James Olekiapi garnered forty thousand votes on the Restore and Build a Kenya ticket which translates to about 0.34% of the vote uh, back in 2013. Where is he now? As I said, he's playing it low. So far, how I know, he's just playing it low and he's not yet in the limelight. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so he's just gone back, um, yes, uh, analyzing what's happening in the political scene at the moment. Right, right. So um, basically, we have the same number of uh, presidential candidates in 2017 as we did in, in 2013, 2013, eight yes. presidential candidates. Um, what about the number of uh, parties, really, especially the new parties that have come into play in 2017? In, in 2017, especially the presidential race, what we do know is the new party is NASA. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the new margin, it's just called now joined to NASA mm -hmm. into a different team. Mohamed Abdubadida tunes the coalition right now. A Kuro court. Third Way Alliance, he has a new party called Third Way Alliance. We have Cyrus Jirongo, United Democratic Party. So these are the new parties that have come up. Mm -hmm. And the small, small parties have either joined to NASA or the main party Jubilee. Right, right. Yeah. and of course that there's an entrance of a, a lot of uh, independents. Before we get into that, let's find up with uh, Paul Mwite. Um, we've already touched a bit on uh, his uh, candidature in 2013. How mm -hmm. many votes did he garner? He garnered 12,580 votes, which is an equal to 0.1% mm -hmm. yeah, of the total votes. All right, so that is a poll meter. So those are the candidates running um, in the 2013 presidential election. Uh, that is... Uh, Eight candidates back then garnering 12,000 votes is a Paul Mwite. So how have the dynamics changed from 2013 to 2017? Let's continue looking um, in closer detail at the presidential candidates in the year 2017. Who do we begin with? Oh, I think we've talked a lot about Uhuru. Let's start with the independent candidates, I'd suggest. Mm -hmm. um, let's start with Japheth Kavinga Kaluyu. This, as I said, the man from the diaspora. Right. He he's an independent candidate. His uh, his running mate was the one who actually appeared for the running mates debate. Mm -hmm. The only man standing for the running mates debate. Right. So I guess um, that's that's it for like Japheth Kavinga Kalu. But we can go back and just start with Uhuru Kenyatta. All right, let's uh, move on. So we have uh, 19 million um, total registered voters as uh, compared to 2013, where we had 14 million voters. So that's an increase of about 5, five million. Um, 5 million. Yeah. Uh, would you say this is because, because you know, there's a lot more civic education, really, to get more people registered as voters? Yes. I mean, yes. Even considering how close this, ra uh, this race was. Yes, and at the same time, I think Kenyans have become more literate, and the, the young people now do know about their rights and how they should vote, their civic rights, basically. Mm -hmm. So that's why I guess the numbers have increased throughout the time. All right, all right. So let's move on and uh, begin now with, uh, of course, Uhuru Kenyatta, who is uh, the incumbent and uh, uh, running, uh, seeking to uh, defend his seat there on uh, the Jubilee Party. Um, Many have said that, that uh, the manifesto, really, that was brought up by Jubilee is seemingly the same manifesto that they had in 2013. But what did you say? Uh, is new for Jubilee, really, in this election? Um, I mean, same thing that they talk about creating more jobs, employment opportunities for young people. So I think them is just more of this is what we have done and this is what we are planning to do for mm -hmm. you in the next coming five years if you re-elect us. Right, like give so, us more time to complete the projects we began. Exactly, mm -hmm. and we'll give you what it is, yes. All right, and of course, um, Raila Odinga from the National Super Alliance. Uh, we've spoken about him in a bit more detail. Yes. And then we have... Uh, 
Mohamed Abdubadida, also running under the Tunzo coalition this year. Yeah. Um, he's one of uh, those uh, who are not in the two-horse race, as the yes. media has uh, made it to be, mm -hmm. but uh, seemingly has been very consistent um, from the 2013 general elections. What's new about him other than the different party? Um, okay, he likes talking about leadership with God and just restoring sanity in our society. Mm -hmm. So for him, he's talking about getting credible leaders uh, into place to, you know, boost the country right. into a better environment. Right. Yes. All right. And of course, we have uh, independent candidate uh, Michael Wainaina there. Um, uh, he's also riding for president and he's a new, a new entrant, yeah. um, a new name that Kenyans are seeing as riding for president. What's his clarion call? He's just a professor who just from uni and he says that he wants the young people in this country to see things in a different perspective, normal lies, normal graft, corruption issues. So that is what he's bringing to the table mm -hmm. as one uh, Professor Michael Wainaina. Michael Wainaina, all right. And of course, other than Michael Wainaina, um, we had uh, Joseph Nyaga, who is yes. another president, an independent presidential candidate. What, what's his story? Joseph Nyaga, basically, his family has been in the political scene for the longest time ever, from Norman Nyaga to his father, Jeremiah Nyaga. Now, for him, he's been in politics since back then. Mm -hmm. He was a former member of parliament for Gashoka constituency. He's been an assistant minister during the Kibaki era. Uh, he's been a cabinet minister. And just before he exited um, to enter the presidential race, he was a regional integration advisor to President Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. So he wants to give it a shot also. He wants to try what can he do for the country? And of course, we'll be learning more about them on Monday in the presidential debate, debate. which has been slated. So do stay tuned for that. Thank you so much, Fatia. That is Fatia Noor from our research desk, giving us a comparison, really, uh, of uh, what's been happening between the 2013 and the 2017 presidential elections, a comparison that brings us to a close on this edition of News Center. My name is Michelle Ngele. Do have yourselves a good morning. More news coming up at the top of the hour. This is KTN News.